right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Behold, you're healed. You're whole by the stripes of Jesus. I speak life. I speak life over you. What the enemy spoke in death, we cancel it now. Let every death curse that's been spoken over your life be canceled, be uprooted, be destroyed. Good morning, good morning, everyone. This is Apostle Decor Green, founder of Oasis of Upper Room Kingdom. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Welcome to those who are watching live on YouTube, on Facebook, on Periscope. Those who are watching the replay broadcast or listening to a podcast, I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Welcome to the Warriors Prayer Closet with another day and another victory. Good morning, A. Good morning, Courtney. Good morning, Marquita. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Joan. Good morning, Efren. Good morning, Nisha. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Janet. Good morning, good morning Blanc. Good morning, in the prayer closet. Good morning, Portia. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, Jean. Good morning, LaShawn. Good morning, Anita. Hey, Amen. It's Alice Kenny Logan again. Welcome to the Warriors Prayer Closet with another day and another victory and uh, happy Memorial Day uh, to those in the U.S. Again, as we honor, remember those who uh, sacrificed lives and who um on a battlefield uh while serving you know to war circle and uh and today is day one as we uh, uh pray in war for for healing i know many are off today uh in the u.s so those of you who got up early uh just to come in a prayer closet again commend you for for pressing through amen Good morning, Rose and Michael. Good morning, John, Kathy. Amen. So again, of course, it's another day for us to advance God's kingdom, bring heaven on earth as we continue to walk in obedience uh, to the will of God, knowing that, again, it's already written. Uh, and even as we uh, prepare to pray in war uh, for uh, divine healing, uh, healing in body, mind, soul, etc., uh, again, we know it's already written. It's already the will of God uh, that we walk in divine healing. It's already the will of God that, that we're whole, that our soul is whole. It's already uh, uh, the will of God. Amen. So uh, so we thank the Lord uh, again for the opportunity for us to be able to um, bring heaven on earth, to, to execute his will uh, and continue to, to live by faith as, as he expects us to live by faith because we are the just. We are the just and, and we shall live by faith. And so it's something that, that's expected of us to do. And the enemy wants uh, to operate out of feelings, uh, but to operate out of faith by putting faith ahead of us, pushing faith forward. Uh, uh, and so and that's how it's always uh, supposed to be. So the enemy is going to constantly try to use fear tactics, 
going to try to make you shrink back, going to try to silence you, going to try to shut you up, uh, going to try to make you doubt, second guess, et cetera, et cetera. But our goal is, and, and our job is continue to, to spend an intimate time with God, continue to press into him, keep our eyes focused on him, fixed on him, and he'll keep us in perfect peace, perfect shalom, perfect prosperity um, as we keep our thoughts fixed on him. And so that is a uh, a discipline. Because the enemy is constantly trying to put thoughts in your mind, trying to put thoughts in your mind that are contrary to the will of God, trying to put thoughts in your mind to get you to act on those thoughts, to get you to say those thoughts, right? And so that that so 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 you have to, to silence that demonic chatter, not giving in to that demonic chatter, those lies that they're whispering. Or the things that they're whispering to try to pull you down, to try to make you feel less than, to try to make you slow down, to try to distract you, to take your focus off of God, to take your focus off seeking his kingdom first. Seeking his kingdom first. And remember, it's his kingdom on earth. Because the enemy wants his own agenda to be established on earth. He wants his kingdom of darkness to be established on earth. So they're trying to poke at your flesh and poke at your flesh and poke at your flesh. Trying to get you to bite the bait. Trying to get you to speak death over yourself rather than speaking life. Trying to pull you down through negative thoughts. Painful thoughts. Through thoughts of defeat. Thoughts of pain, etc., etc. We're supposed to think on good thoughts, things that are of good report. Thinking on God, on, on seeking him for his kingdom. So we have responsibility, again, to send our faith before us. And, and look, you're not always going to feel like it. Just like you're not always going to feel like praying. But we're not moved by feelings. Prayer is our way of life. Prayer gets you in, prayer gets you out. Prayer, again, is that net that we can spread out and it covers a whole lot of ground in the now and for what's to come. Prayer helps us continue to build that momentum and bring God's kingdom on earth. It continues to help us build that momentum to establish uh, uh, his will. So the enemy loves to use that little spirit called fear to try to keep you down. To try to make you feel down. To try to make you feel low. To try to make you feel you haven't accomplished anything. Or that you aren't accomplished anything. To try to make you think nothing's moving. Nothing's changing. Because you're looking at the circumstance. You're looking at the diagnosis. Instead of looking. Continue to look to God. Continue to seek him. Continue to stay in his face. In his presence. In his heart. help you see what the enemy is presenting you is a lie. And although the enemy may even be attacking your body physically, your mind, your soul, trying to wound it, etc., it's still a lie. Anything that is not in alignment with the will of God is a lie. It is a lie. It is not of God. It is not truth. God is a spirit, is what God says, that those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. The word of God says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. The enemy wants us to focus on his agenda, his plan. He wants you to focus on a diagnosis. He wants you to focus on the situation. He wants you to focus on what appears to not be moving, what appears to not be changing. Those stubborn demons that seem to not want to go anywhere. But it's a lie. We have to focus on the truth and continue to show up through prayer and show up in warfare and fight back against the very enemy that's been fighting against you. And continue to fight against the enemy that's been fighting against you until you see the results. You pray and you war until you see the results. You pray and you war until you see the manifested results. We know it's done in heaven. We know it's done in the spirit. 
but we have to execute the victory on the, in the here and the now. Right now, we have to execute it because the earth is where we rule from. The earth is where we have dominion. So we show up through prayer. We show up in obedience to God. Knowing whatever the diagnosis, whatever the enemy is trying to put on us, whatever the enemy is trying to get us to live in is a lie. If it doesn't support the will of God, the word of God, it's a lie. And we are to live in truth and to walk in truth because the spirit of truth is in us. So it's the intent of the enemy for you to keep looking at something that appears to not be changing, that appears to not be moving, to make you think that your prayers aren't working, to make you think your prayers aren't doing anything. It's a lie. Your prayer always does something in the realm of spirit. It's impossible for you to pray unto God and things not happen in the realm of the spirit and things not begin to move. But the lens and the perspective we look out of makes it appear nothing is happening, nothing is changing. It makes it appear it's been two, three, four, five, seven, ten years or more. And it could have ever been a day, a minute, a second, a few hours in heaven. We cannot be governed by this worldly, natural time. It'll get you in trouble. Time is simply a tool that's supposed to help you uh, 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 bring forth the will of God. It's just a timestamp of when this happened in your life, when God did this, when God did that. It's never been meant to work against you, but we never were meant to, to be governed by natural time. We live in supernatural time. And that's important to continue to understand. And I did an entire series on living in supernatural time. That, that's important to understand because if we continue to be moved by natural time and what we see or what we don't see, that it's going to create more frustration, more discouragement. And not, not taken away from the fact that, yes, you will feel. Because you have feelings, so you may feel some of it. But we can't live in those fears and know that we are not our feelings. We are spirit. And we're here to bring God's kingdom on earth, to carry out God's will. We cannot be moved by the situation, the circumstances, the mountain that, that's in front of us. We can't be moved by the lie. We can't be impacted by the lie. That's what the enemy has to use to try to wear us down, to try to sift us, to try to frustrate us, to try to discourage you. And to try to keep putting those thoughts in your mind so you can meditate on those negative thoughts. That's what the enemy wants. But the Lord says meditate on his word day and night. And you, it will make you your way prosperous and you have great success. It'll make you prosperous and you have great success. Just by meditating on the law, on the word of God. Meditating on him, thinking on him. Because you came out of him, you're the DNA of him. And that alone begins to bring healing in mind, body, soul. And I get it. The stance sometimes seems so heavy. It seems insurmountable because of how it makes you feel. And that's why I all suggest record yourself praying. When you are on a high. Record yourself praying. And those moments when the enemy tries to come on you and try to make you feel low, then now you can put on your recorded prayer that you already prayed. And, and play it. And that's still you praying. That strategy. And so the enemy always wants to try to find some aspect to get you to focus on to make you feel old, to make you feel defeated, to make you feel like nothing's moving, like nothing's changing. It's his job to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Christ came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Christ wants you to live that more abundant life. A more abundant life. Just put in perspective. And more abundantly.
never and, and more abundantly. More abundantly, more abundantly, more abundantly. Christ abundantly. Christ already died for you to have life more abundantly. Whose report are you gonna go with? The enemy's report, the doctor's report, or the report of the Lord. That's where you put faith out there and you keep faith out there. And you keep faith and you keep faith. Because you're already victorious. You're already victorious. The enemy wants to bring bad news and wants you to meditate on the bad news. Wants you to meditate on what was said, what was done, what, what you don't see. They want you to meditate on it. Because they, what they're doing, they're trying to get you to meditate on death. Anything that's not of God is death. The word of God says, I pre present you life and death, blessing and cursings. Choose life. When we think on the things of God, we're choosing life. We're thinking life. When we think on the negative things, the things the enemy wants us to think on, or the bad report, now we're thinking death. And one of those two thoughts are going to produce something. The enemy's, the enemy's going to come uh, to ride on the waves with those bad thoughts, the energy that we're giving off because we're power, living, moving, breathing, walking, power, light with the light of the world. That's power. That's energy. That's flowing. And so demons will come and try to ride on those waves. And as we worship God, that's why you can't go by what you feel. You speak what God said. You speak the truth of his word. You continue to declare the truth of his word. That's what we're supposed to do. The enemy wants you to curse yourself. The enemy wants you to speak death. To support their agenda. To give fuel to their own fire. To give fuel to the agenda that they're trying to push. And God is saying, no, speak my word. Declare my word. Declare my truth. Speak life. And the word of life, which is the word of God, will give life to your body. To your soul. And don't waver back and forth. Scripture says a double-minded man is unstable in all his way. Also translated a double-souled man. And, in, and, and some of you still carrying major wounds from the past and trauma and for being offended and being hurt and being rejected and being abandoned. Even go back as far as childhood or past relationships, except you have to turn it back on the enemy. Back on the enemy. Take the fight right back to the enemy. And recognize that you're not in this by yourself. We're in this together. We're in this corporately. And the enemy constantly wants to make you think you're alone. That you're going at it alone. That you're all by yourself. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. If it's not from God, it is a lie. And we cannot buy into it. And we cannot support it. And we cannot feed it. And we cannot put fuel on that in that thing. It's a lie. Your whole life, the enemy has been trying to get you to buy into lies. Think on lies. Speak on lies. Because if you're speaking on lies, you're thinking on lies, then you're not speaking the word of God. You're not speaking truth. And you're not thinking on, the, on, on God and the things of God. So we have to switch it. We have to twist it right back around on the enemy and say, well, see your plan. I see your strategy. You're trying to get me to focus on this negative. You're trying to get me to focus on what's going on in the natural. You're trying to get me to think that nothing is happening, nothing is changing, that I'm in a trap, that I'm stuck, that nothing's moving, that nothing changes. Then you're trying to get me to believe that it's never going to change, that this is how it's going to be for the rest of my life, that I got to live with this, that I got to accept this, that I have to look at this. No, lie, 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 and lie again. We will not buy into it. We will not bite the bait. We will not fall in the trap again. Some of you have been falling for the same trap over and over again and going around that same mountain over and over and over again. And over again. You are not your situation. You are not that circumstance. You are not that sickness. You are not that disease. And some have gotten so comfortable with certain things, you're, you're, you, you, you're personalizing it. Call it my diabetes, my high blood pressure, my cancer, my arthritis, my whatever. You, you're owning, you're taking ownership of a sickness, ownership of a disease. 
It's not your nothing. It's an agenda from the enemy. It's an attack of the enemy. It's something the enemy sent that you don't accept. I don't care what it is, how bad it looks, what the diagnosis is. Doesn't matter if, if they say, oh, that's incurable. It's, it does not matter. That has nothing to do with you. That is the plan of the enemy, and you will not accept it. Jesus Christ, it already says that you healed by the strap of Jesus. He already say he'll bless our, bless our bread and water and take sickness from among us. He already say he desired for you to prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. I'm going to believe what the word of God says. I'm going to declare what the word of God says, regardless, point blank. But stop owning it. Just because you, the, you, you've been dealing with it in a natural for so long, whether it's you or family member, whoever it case it be, you've been dealing with it for a long time in the natural, but it has not been a long time in the spirit. That's part of the whole enemy trying to wear you down and wear you down and wear you down. But that is not the report that you can continue to believe. That has nothing to do with you. If it's not the agenda of God, it has nothing to do with you. And then some go take a next step from not, from not just owning it, but trying to put it on that is from God. Well, th th this is how I was born and it's, and, and, and it's this clear what, what God is, is doing this. And so he clearly let me be this way because or put this on me so that I could I can help other people. God does not need to put sickness on you, disease on you to help other people. He doesn't need help in that department. He doesn't need help in any area. That is an agenda from the enemy, a lie from the enemy again to try to make you accept something that did not come from God. Something that did not come from God. Sickness is from the enemy. And they use whatever tra tactics, traps, whatever, etc. Some are generational. There's some of them that use generational curses to find some way to attack your body, your mind, your soul, etc. But the bottom line is we cannot accept the lie. We cannot believe the lie. We cannot co-sign on the lie. We cannot walk into the lie. We cannot own the lie and take ownership of the lie. We have to disconnect ourselves from the lie, not accept the lie. We look, at, we look in the face of the lie. And you have to know that every time you pray, every time you declare the word of God about it, things are happening. You're looking at the right now and your prayer is looking at the, the big picture, the whole thing. There's things that you stopped that you didn't know that you stopped because of your prayer life that the enemy wanted to do. The enemy's trying to get you, look, see, that's still move, not moving. That's not changing. But you don't know the things that you prayed, how you prayed about the situation. The enemy wanted to add this and add that and do this and do that. And you stopped it and you blocked it and you canceled it. But, of course, the enemy's not going to tell you that part. They're just going to try to think about why the enemy is working so hard trying to convince you to believe that nothing's going to change. Why would the enemy have to work overtime to convince you to believe this is not going to change? This is not going to move. This is not going to uh, 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 manifest in your life. Well, because they know the damage you're causing. But they don't want you to know the damage you're causing. They don't want you to know the things that you're changing, you're affecting, you're impacting because you've been praying about it, because you've been on your posts, because you've been warring. They don't want you to know what you've already done. They don't want you to know that they're frustrated with you because you keep praying, because you keep believing, you keep showing up. They're frustrated that their plan has not worked the way that they wanted it to work. And here you are thinking, oh, it must be working because nothing's moving. No, you're you, the very plans of the enemy is backfiring because they can't figure you out. Why, after all that they've afflicted you in mind, body, soul, the pain, the anguish, the disease, the sickness, whatever it is, the mental anguish, whatever it is, they they they're trying. To make you believe that you're not changing, that things aren't changing in your life because they know that you are causing damage. You are causing change and they are frustrated with you. You've been discouraging them. Here they are trying to discourage you. And you not realizing that you're actually discouraging them. Because here you are once again showing up. And the enemy's trying to figure out, why do you keep showing up? Have we not done enough? Have we not attacked enough? Why do you keep showing up? Because the end goal is the enemy want to get you out of prayer. The enemy wants to get you to step out of faith. But you won't do it. Even in the midst of moments in the flesh and feelings, you still come to yourself and you still keep showing up. 
so the enemy is upset that they cannot shake you and get you to step out of faith, that they cannot shut you up. The enemy wants to shut you up from prayer. Hello? So you ought to commend yourself and realize, wait a minute. I am doing more than what I think. I am accomplishing more than what I think I'm accomplishing. Through prayer. Through the power of prayer. And heaven is responding every single time. Every single time. But what lens are you looking out of? Because if you only look at the lens of, well, I have to see this change in this area like this for me to know that my prayers are producing. And I keep saying all the time that if you were to check the record of all the things you've prayed about over all the years, I just 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 told this to the uh, uh, the, the warrior circle. If you think about all those things. Over your whole life that you prayed about. You've forgotten. Most of it. Because so much has manifest and happened. You forgot about most of the things that you prayed about and it happened. You forgot about most of it because it's been so much. It's been so much. You can't even remember it all. It's been so much. Whatever you prayed for, whether it's something for you, whether it's something for someone else, whatever the case would be, it's, it's happened so many times over and over and over again, but the enemy wants you to not even remember any of that because they just want you to focus on this one thing. Your prayers have changed so much. Has manifested so much. It's been so much that you can't even remember it all. You pray for this person for that. And you pray for this person for that. To get this job. To get this healing. To get this promotion. To get this to that. And that they, they, they will move. And that this will happen. And that whatever it is. Whatever the prayer request was. And this happened. And that happened. And that happened. It's so much. been so many things. You can't even remember it all. You can't even remember it all. It's been that much. But the enemy would have you to think, oh, God, not answer your prayers. Ain't nothing happened with your prayers. Lies, lies, and lies. I always, I always encourage you to keep track of things you're praying about and praying for and people you prayed for in situation and keep track of it. When you pray for it and when God answered it. And when it would manifest, shall I say, and you write it down because God answered it just like that. But when it manifested, write down those days and you will see again, there's more things I prayed about that's actually happened and actually manifested than things I've been praying about and warning about that hasn't happened in the natural. It's happened in the spirit, but I haven't seen a tangible manifestation of it. Far more things. Guarantee you go back to your earliest days. You can't even remember it all because it's been so much. It's been so much. I'm telling you, it's been so much. And then sometimes it's been so much Holy Spirit had to remind you, remember this? Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. Oh, yeah, that did happen. So we can't believe the lie. We can't buy into the lie. We can't accept the lie. It's the truth, truth of the word of God. Wait a minute. Look at what has actually happened. Look at what has actually changed. Look what has actually manifested. I forgot all about. Your prayers are producing. Your prayers are producing. You have to have the mindset that my prayers are producing. And understanding that my prayers are producing. Not just in your life, but in the life of others. So we have to believe the truth. We have to believe the truth. And know that God is a spirit, and those who worship him is worship him in spirit and in truth. We worship him in spirit and in truth. So you're already whole. You're already healed. Mind and your body and your soul. We just have to keep declaring it. And declaring it and speaking it and praying and warring against the very enemy who's trying to keep you down, who's trying to hold you down. And in seeking God's kingdom. The enemy does not want you doing that, seeking how to establish his kingdom, because now, like I tell you all the time, the kingdom of God is too big. The enemy can't put all their resources 
on you bringing God's kingdom. It's too big. It's too vast. So that's to our advantage. That's to our advantage now. We have to press forward, bring his kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And I declare and decree that the kingdom of God shall come to your home. In your life. In wholeness, in mind, in body, and in soul. Complete healing in every aspect. Even areas that you don't know that needs healing. Even though those those those, those time release curses the image is, is hoping that they, they can release of sickness, of disease, etc. We're gonna cancel it. We're gonna cancel it. We're gonna override it. We're gonna overturn it. We're gonna uproot it. Whatever sickness you've been diagnosed with, any disease, any pains in your body, any wounds in your soul, any emotional trauma, etc. Pain that you've been carrying. We're gonna come up against all of that. And, and that's again, that's our focus target for this week is, is healing. Divine healing in every area. Divine healing and on your bloodline. I don't care what it is. It does not matter. It has nothing to do with you. Healing across the board. Across the board. That's the presence of God. It's already here. It's already present. It's already here right now. His glory is already present. You carry his glory. You carry his glory. And divine healing is your divine right. As a child of God. It's your divine right. It's your legal right. And we cannot buy into the agenda of the enemy. And like I said, for some of you, it's physical. For some of you, it's emotional. It's deeply buried in your soul. It's still, that's still sickness. Soul sick. Some is just, it's the mind, the, the constant anguish and, 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 and pain in the mind and, 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 and me trying to cripple you in the mind. And I said, I love you, it's physical. But we're going to declare it. What's already done, which you're already healed. That's what we're going to hone in on. Amen. Uh, so uh, remember, Friday, Friday, we're, we're only uh, uh, four days away now uh, for our Friday night fire in Atlanta. Uh, uh, you can register free registration uh, at Friday night fire ATL2. That's Friday night fire ATL2 dot eventbrite dot com. Friday night fire ATL2. That's the number two, Friday Night Fire ATL2 dot eventbrite dot com. Again, that is this uh, Friday, uh, May the 31st. At the Mansour Conference Center in Marietta, Georgia. Uh, begins at 7 p.m. Doors open at 6. Again, that's uh, at, at, at the Mansour Conference Center uh, in Marietta, Georgia. And so again, you can register at Friday Night Fire, ATL2. Dot eventbrite dot com. I look forward to seeing those who will be able to be in attendance and knowing that there's going to be miracles, signs, wonders uh, that shall take place uh, as the power of God uh, goes forth and is demonstrated uh, as we bring His uh, kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. So looking forward to to, to that and and all that's going to manifest. Uh, doing Friday night fires. So looking forward again, uh, and especially Upper Room Kingdom members, partners, uh, and prayer closet participants, uh, make sure that you go to there to register for what we're going to be doing um, as well for our overflow on Saturday. Amen. All right. All right. So on Facebook, make sure you hit the share button. Share with your family and friends. Uh, YouTube, hit the share button. Share on social media. And Periscope, hit the share button. Share it with your followers. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to war? Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to war? Proverbs 4. Let's go to Proverbs 4. 
verses 20 to 22. Proverbs 4, verses 20 to 22. what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart. For they bring life to those who find them. And healing to their whole body. I'm going to read again. And, and this is, is, is Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. It's wisdom uh, speaking. It says, my child, Pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart. Deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. So again, it's already in the word of God that healing is your divine right. That is what God wants for you. You have to understand this is what God wants for you. Some of you have gotten to a place where you start to question, well, maybe this is what it's going to be. Maybe this is the lot in life I've been given. Maybe I just have to live with this for the rest of my life. That's a lie from that is not the will of God. It is not the it is not the will of God. Wisdom is in here. Don't lose sight of the word. Of God's words. Let the word penetrate your heart. But the enemy doesn't want you to know that. The enemy doesn't want you to believe that. It's right here in the word. You'll find life. And it's going to bring healing to your entire body. You're going to find life. And it brings healing to your entire body. And of course, the enemy doesn't want healing to your entire body. The enemy wants sickness, disease, pain, affliction, torment. But that's not the will of God. We're declaring the will of God for divine healing in every aspect of your life, no matter what it may be. And so whatever you're here for, or even who you stand in the gap for, for healing, we declare in the cream, it's already done and it shall manifest speedily, speedily, whatever you're carrying. Do not accept it. Do not accept it. Whether it's something you've, you've been carrying for a long time physically, you've been dealing with a long time physically, whether it's a, 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 a bad diagnosis, don't accept it. Whatever you've been battling for a long time, don't accept it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is going to change. And I believe it. Praying now, things are happening. Amen. Our prayer talk. Oh God, my Father, I thank you for your word healing my body. As your word penetrates my heart to heal me, let your word tear my wicked oppressors to shreds. Let them be slayed for the attacks they sin against my mind, body, and soul in the name of Jesus. One more time with holy aggression. Oh God, my Father, I thank you for your word healing my body. As your word penetrates my heart to heal me. Let your word tear my wicked oppressors to shreds. Let them be slayed for the attacks they sin against my mind, body, and soul in the name of Jesus. God, our Father, we come to you today. We give your name honor. We praise you. We exalt your name. We honor you, O God, for you alone are God. You alone reign supreme. It is in you we live, we move, we have our being, O God. We bless your name. We 
honor you now. We glorify your name. We exalt your name, Lord, for you are holy, O oh God. You are wonderful, O oh God. You are everything to us, O oh God, and we praise you now. We exalt your name. We worship your Father. We worship your Abba, for you are wonderful. You are marvelous, and we love your Father. This is the day that you have made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We bless your name, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for divine healing, O oh God. We thank you that it is already done, O oh God. We thank for your word healing our body that we're healed by the stripes of Jesus. We thank you for your word, oh God. Let it penetrate in our hearts, oh God. Let it penetrate our soul right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, as it brings healing to every joint, muscle, tissue, marrow, oh God, as it brings healing to our mind, as it brings healing to our soul, as it brings healing to our bodies now, oh God, and even any hidden sickness, any seeds that the enemy sowed that was time released that they plan to bring sickness on us. We can't sit now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and let the very word of God, oh God, that penetrates our heart and brings healing to us, oh God. God, let the very word, the soul, the spirit uh, begin to shred our wicked oppressors who's attacked our bodies, who's attacked our soul, who's attacked our mind, oh God. Bring your wrath upon our wicked oppressors now. Let them be slayed, oh God. Let them be destroyed by fire, by force, for the attacks, oh God, that they brought against us, the attacks they brought against our mind, the attacks they brought against our family's mind, our friends, fellow warriors' minds. Oh God, whatever tax they brought, we declare right now, it is canceled. Whatever they put on the body, whatever they put on the soul, we declare divine healing now. Holy Ghost fire all over your bodies now. We send Holy Ghost fire all of our bodies now. We will not accept the agenda of the enemy. We will not accept the diagnosis, oh God, for it did not come for you, from you, oh God. We are whole. We are healed in the name of Jesus. And I say, Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, all over your bodies now. Be whole, be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I send a healing angel to walk through your bodies now and restore what's ever out of place, restore what's ever out of balance, restore what's ever been afflicted, restore what's ever been wounded right now in the name of Jesus. And I release the life power of the Holy Spirit to flow to every, every fiber of your being that you're whole, that you're healed in every area in your life. Any area that's been hidden, that the enemy has been attacking, that the enemy has been working on, I speak healing to it now. I send a big in the flow, burn away the chaff, burn away every serpent that's trying to latch on to your souls now. I send Holy Ghost fire now. I send Holy Ghost fire now. Every evil deposit of sickness and disease that the enemies try to put in you, that the enemies try to pump in you, that the enemies try to sow in you, I command it to go now. I have rooted by the superior blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever it may be, I command it up and out now. Come up and out now. If it's a soul issue, I declare healing in it now. If it's a physical issue, I declare healing for it now. If it's an emotional issue, I declare healing for it now. If it's a mental issue, I declare healing for it now. Right now, whatever it is that's not of God, whatever lie the enemies try to put on you, whatever evil garment the enemies try to put on you or your family, I command it off. I pull it off that dark cloud. I drive it out by fire. You stubborn ones, you will come up and out now. You will exit now. You will leave now. We believe the report of the Lord that they're healed. They are healed. They are healed by the strap of Jesus. Whatever the diagnosis, whatever the disease, wherever the pain, we declare it is gone in the name of Jesus. By fire, by force, the mental anguish, the pain and suffering that you've gone through. Oh God, let our wicked enemies, oh God, bring your wrath upon those wicked enemies now. Let them receive your fire. Let them receive your wrath. We rip them to shreds with the word of God. We rip them from limb to limb for the attacks they brought against us, the attacks they brought on our bloodline. We catch it now. We catch it now. We override it. We return it now. Any evil seeds they sowed overnight, we send the blood of Jesus now to uproot it, to override it, to overturn it now. We cancel it now. We destroy it now. All plans of the enemy, 
all seeds of the enemy. We destroy it now. Any evil covenant, our wicked enemies try to get us to come into unknown. We renounce it now. We renounce it now. We disconnect ourselves from it now. Every evil altar that's been erected against us to, for any type of sickness, we send the fire God to destroy it now. Let those evil altars be destroyed. You will not fed any longer. We cut the demonic and biblical cord. And the evil priest who's working those evil altars um, die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire now. We eliminate you. We eradicate you. We destroy you now by fire, by force. Oh God, some have gotten weary along the way. Some have gotten discouraged because it seems like they keep climbing this mountain and this stubborn mountain won't be removed. But I declare the decree being removed now. Let it be removed now. For you said the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avail as much. You said that we declare shall be established and we declare healing now all pain all sickness all disease be gone be gone be gone be gone what needs to be restored restored oh god let the healing angel restore god every organ every tissue every blood cell every cell right now be restored what's ever out of place be restored i declare it now be restored in the name of in mind body and soul be restored be whole be healed now i declare you walking in divine healing right now right now right now by fire by force, let our enemies suffer for how they try to make us suffer. Let them suffer for the evil they've done in our lives. Let them suffer for what they tried to afflict us with. Let them suffer for the pain and agony they caused, for the frustration they caused, for the discouragement they caused. Let them suffer by fire, by fire. Force, be whole, be now, be whole, be healed now. I declare those who've been carrying bitterness and unforgiveness, be whole now. It's time to release it. You can no longer allow that to have power in your life. It's time to release it. It's time to release it. I know it's been hard. I know it's been a heavy weight. I know you carried it for a long time, but it's time to release it. Be whole. Cast those burdens on the Lord. Be whole. Be healed. Forgiveness doesn't mean I got to like the person, that I got to be around the person. Forgiveness says what they did or what they didn't do. I'm not going to allow it to have power in my life any longer. I'm going to be set free from that bondage. I'm going to be set free from that torment. Be whole now. Be released from the prison of unforgiveness. Be released from the prison of bitterness and resentment right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, from that emotional trauma, from the traumatic event, from being offended, from being rejected, from being violated, from being abandoned, whatever it is, I declare your soul is being healed now. Blood of Jesus flow through their souls now. Holy Ghost fire flow through their souls now. In the mighty name of Jesus, be whole, be healed. Let Duna's power go to your soul now. Be whole, be healed now. In every aspect of your life, I declare healing now. Holy Ghost fire. Burn away anything that's not of God. Burn away anything that's not from God. We burn it away now. We burn it away now. We burn it away now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we burn away now. No matter what it is. No matter what it is. Be whole. Be healed now. Let our wicked oppressors be destroyed. Let them be destroyed by fire, by force. It doesn't matter what it is. If it ain't from God, it ain't for you. If it ain't from God, it's not for you to carry it. We drive it up now by fire. You will not live with that chronic pain. You will not live with that sickness. You will not live with that disease. You will not live with that diagnosis by 
fire by force. Be gone now. Be gone now. Be gone now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be gone now. Be gone now. You stubborn demons, go now. By fire, by force. I declare every cell, every fiber of your being, being restored now. Be restored now. Be restored now. Back in its proper place. I declare your body shall function like it's supposed to function. Be put back in its proper place. Place right now in the name of Jesus, your mind shall function like it's supposed to function. Be put back in its proper place right now in the name of Jesus. Your emotion shall function like it's supposed to function. Be put back in its proper place right now in the name of Jesus. Your soul shall function like your soul supposed to function. Be put back in its proper place right now in the mighty name of jesus behold you're healed you're whole by the stripes of jesus i speak life i speak life over you where the enemy spoken death we cancel now let every death curse that's been spoken over your life be canceled be uprooted be destroyed and i send the heavenly host to go before you now to fight on your behalf, to fight on behalf of your bloodline. Heavenly host, do war, do war, do war, do war. We're whole, we're healed now. We're whole, we're healed now. Clear the path, heavenly host, clear the path, clear the path. As we walk in divine healing, as we walk in victory, as we walk in joy. For some of you, the enemy has stolen your joy. They've stolen peace. They got you to step out of God's joy. They got you to step out of God's peace. By the clear, you're back in it now. I speak God's joy. I raise a holy altar now, and I cover it with the blood of Jesus, and I put you on that holy altar. I put your family on that holy altar, and that everything that's not of God, let it burn on that altar. Let it burn on that altar. Let it be wiped out. Let it be destroyed. Anything not of God, let it burn away. Let it burn away. Let it burn away. And you be restored. I declare limbs are being restored now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Blinded eyes are being opened in the name of Jesus. Death is be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open, be open now in the mighty name of Jesus. I command limbs to operate properly. I declare right now wombs are being open right now. When a doctor said you couldn't have children, I declare wombs are being open now in the mighty name of Jesus. A miracle womb in the mighty name of Jesus. Be open, be open, be open, be open now in the mighty name of Jesus. Even for the males that the doctor said you couldn't have children, I declare your seed right now. I declare new seed. I declare new seed. Be open. Be open. Be open now. In the mighty name of Jesus, by fire, by force, whatever it may be, whatever you've accepted that's not from God, drive it out by fire. Let it be driven out by fire. Let it be driven out by fire. Right now, right now, right now, by fire, by fire. Force. I declare your whole and every aspect of your life, your whole, your whole in your soul, your whole in your body, your whole in your mind right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And you're walking in it. We're walking in the victory. We're walking in divine healing. We're swimming in divine healing. Right now, right now, right now, right now, stir it up, oh God, stir it up, oh God, stir it up, we're whole now, we're whole now, in the name of Jesus, I declare and decree it, we're not backing down, we're not going anywhere, we will not shrink back, we stand here today, by faith, we stand here today on the word of God. No matter what the enemies try to get us to believe, we reject it. We reject it. And we accept the word of God that we're already healed, that we're already whole. We accept it now. We accept it now. 
that our loved ones are already healed. They're already whole. We accept it now. We accept it now. We accept it now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done in our lives, in our bloodlines lives, our family members lives on earth as it is in heaven. We want it now. We declare it now. Come now. Kingdom 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 come now. Right now. Right now. And we declare good news. Good news. We declare we're healed. Good news. Good news. In every area of our lives. Good news. Find us now. Find us now. Find us now. Good news. Open doors now. 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 Divine healing now. We want it now. We declare it now. We manifest it now. Right now. In our lives. In our family's lives. Those we connected to lives. Those we interceding for lives. Now. 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 Kingdom come now. Kingdom come now. Kingdom come now. Right now. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. We rejoice, oh God. We rejoice. <laughs> we rejoice. And we get the last laugh against our wicked enemies while they're destroyed. While they're wiped out. They thought we were going to live in that sickness. They thought we were going to live in that disease. They thought we were going to live in that pain. They thought we were going to live in that emotional trauma. But no, no, no. We're healed. We're declaring it now. We're declaring it now. And we rejoice. And we're glad about it. That it is done. <laughs> that it is finished. We thank you, Abba. We thank you, Abba. That it is finished. That it is so. That it is done. Kingdom come now. Kingdom come now. We bless you. We bless you. We bless you. We glorify your name, Abba. We thank you, Father, that it is so. It is done right now. And we bless you. And we end with our war cry. Fire, 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 fire. Let them burn. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 fire. Let the burn one more time. Fire, 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 fire. Let them burn in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give God a hand, praise for another day, another victory, another evil troop you have just destroyed. We declare it is already done. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. And as always, you know that you're not in this by yourself. You're not in this by yourself. You're not in this by yourself. We pray together. We go to war together. And we celebrate the victories together. Amen. And we bless the Lord for it. We thank the Lord for it, for the marvelous things that he has done. Amen. It's already done. And we will walk in already done. It's already finished. We will walk. And it's already finished. The completed works of Jesus Christ is already finished. So go forth uh, in advancing God's kingdom. Be encouraged again. Tell others. Share this with others. Family, friends, co-workers. Uh, again, share this with them. Uh, that they can participate in it. They can, they can uh, log in uh, and stream live with us. Uh, all this week, this is what we're covering. Uh, divine healing. And again, in every area. Like I said, there's some just emotional. They may carry some some a lot of trauma and pain, etc. Uh, so whatever type of healing, uh, mind, body, and soul, again, continue to pass it on to them. Share today's broadcast with them as well, Amen. And 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 let them know that you're thinking about them, that 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 you're praying for them, uh, and 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 invite them to join in uh, with us, Amen. This week, as we corporately come together, uh, declaring divine healing, and we expect testimonies. I'm looking forward to the testimony. So. Uh, if any, any of you have testimonies coming forth, email info at decorgreen.org. Uh, uh, info at decorgreen.org. Email in those, those testimonies uh, from, uh, from healing uh, that 
that you've experienced or someone who uh, stream experience, etc. Amen. Uh, and of course, you go to coregreen.org. Uh, you go to the donate tab and you sew back in. You've been blessed. You're being blessed by the word, being blessed by our time of uh, prayer together, doing our warriors uh, prayer closet. Uh, then you uh, sew back because you uh, so to continue to help us to advance God's kingdom. So go to decorgreen.org and go to the donate tab and you sow what the Lord placed on your heart to sow and never sow a casual seed. Name that seed. What do you want that seed to accomplish? And you water it through prayer. You water it through the word of God. Amen. Uh, and, and remember, uh, and Bible study resumes tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so again, Bible study will resume uh, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, our Friday Night Fire is going to be uh, this Friday, May 31st, uh, Friday Night Fire Atlanta, uh, and free registration at Friday Night Fire ATL2.eventbrite.com. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, we declare you're free from glaucoma in Jesus' name. We're looking forward to uh, the testimony that's going to come forth. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. And, and it's that Holy, Holy Ghost fire is already burning things away. Uh, and so some of you go to sleep and wake up, you're going to see different. Some of you are going to walk throughout the day and you start to see the difference. Uh, and, and you can be able to do what you couldn't do before. You, what you, or what you haven't been able to do in a long time. So we're walking in that uh, uh, divine healing in the mighty name of Jesus. So go forth in victory. Don't bite the bit of the enemy. Continue to go forth. Advance God's kingdom. Go forth in victory and the joy of the Lord. Amen. It is your strength. So we reconvene again tomorrow morning. As always, remember that you are the breath of God, and God never wastes a breath. This is Apostle Decor Green sign out. God bless you. Have a smile upon you. Have a great, great, great rest of the day. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, be whole. You're healed. You're whole. By the stripes of Jesus, I speak life. I speak life over you. Where the enemy spoken death, we cancel it now. Let every death curse that's been spoken over your life be canceled, be uprooted, be destroyed. And I send the heavenly host to go before you now to fight on your behalf, to fight on behalf of your bloodline. Heavenly host, do war, do war, do war, do war. We're whole, we're healed now. We're whole, we're healed now.